welcome back to my channel today we're going to be i'm going to show you how i made these gorgeous dragon eye nails so let's get into it um we're starting off by uh, painting them painting all of the nails black um the black i'm using let's see here it was from uh, a website called tropics um, it's, it's honestly not very pigmented, so you definitely have to make sure that you use two coats. Well, I had to make sure that I used two coats with this. Um, the blacks that I like to use are the Beatles blacks, and I like the Nails by Dev. Um, her black polish is really good as well. But that's just what I'm doing here, just painting them all black. take this pretty chrome uh, purple that's from the chrome set that I have which I'll link everything that I've used below it's a number nine in the chrome set that I got and we're going to chrome just the three middle nails first the chrome too you can see like I make sure I get all around the edges of the nails as well too because it can be easy to miss that um, so I'm going to dust them off dust underneath of the nails and everything because when you go to put top coat on it if you've missed some of the chrome powder that might be under the nail and you hit it with like your polish brush then it's going to be in your polish your top coat brush and and so forth so I just make sure dust it off really really good and then I'm going to go in and top coat these threes just to protect that pretty chrome that we put down. And I'm just doing the same thing again on the other hand. So yeah. And then here I'm buff. I'm gonna buff the thumbnail and the pinky nail because they're the two ones that's gonna have half chrome and the other half's just gonna be black. So I'm buffing it so the chrome doesn't stick to the black part. You can use matte top coat too and put down. Um, I just didn't want to put so many layers of gel down, but you, you can use matte top coat and I still buff even though I put matte top coat down I still will buff um, but then I'm just going to go in with some more black and make the half design that I wanted on these two nails and fill that in and then let that cure same thing take the purple chrome and just chrome the tips on the thumb and the pinky and I got my bubbles ready because we are going to be playing with bubbles on this set this is how uh, you create the dragon scales or snake scales so on the chrome I'm putting the top coat just on the purple chrome part getting just a you know a nice thin layer and then I started off by using a brush 
to put the bubbles on that quickly changed because it just it wasn't putting enough bubbles up for me it did work for the one nail um, but you put the bubbles on top and you let it cure and then pull it back out and take like a cloth or something and wipe the bubbles off as you can see that I did and it gives you that beautiful design so we're gonna do it again you put the top coat down you do not cure the top coat just put down a thin layer and see this is when I just switched to the fork that I was using and then you grab the bubbles and just grab the bubbles when you're dipping into the bowl uh, make sure you don't grab the water and stuff too and also try to make sure that you don't touch the nail with the fork or spoon that you're using to put the bubbles on with then you quickly let it cure and then um, pull it out and wipe the tap the bubbles like tap it with a, a, a cloth or something and I did go back in here I was trying to show you that sometimes you get a little bit of it that it, like the bubbles are standing up so I just take a little buffer and I'll buff that out just just lightly um, you want to be careful with that too and if you because when you're buffing and if you notice after you buff if it's got like the the sand on it and stuff you can just take some acetone or some alcohol or something and just pat it again and it'll take it off and it, it won't look messed up. So we're doing the same thing on the thumb. I wanted to do it a couple of times so you guys could see it a couple of times. Just top coat, do not cure, put the bubbles on and stick it immediately in the lamp to be cured. Um, but you can see like here I had to buff because some of the bubbles it was just standing up too high when it cured on the nail. And I will tell you the smaller the bubbles the better in, in the bowl. If you let the bubbles sit for a little bit and until they get like a lot smaller it to me is better. It gives you a better design on the nail. Like these bubbles are a lot they're more smaller they're a little bit more smaller so I'm just covering the nail completely automatically just cure it right away and then wipe it it off with a nail wipe and then you get that beautiful design and then I don't know what happened there I think my camera had stopped recording but I was showing that I'm going to buff the ring nail really good again because I don't want the chrome to stick to it and I'm just drawing like the scales. I wanted to do scales for this finger so I'm drawing like bigger scales up the middle and then smaller ones on the sides um, and then you're, I'm going to let that cure and then this time I'm going to be going in with a silver chrome on top and then dust that off. And now I am using my Baddest Black Liner Gel um, by Nails by Dev and I'm starting to draw the eye of the dragon which is pretty easy. 
Um, so we're just going to draw the eye and color it in all black because I wanted to use a cap polish um, on top of the eye. I was trying to create the a cool effect for the eye. I wanted the eye to be really pretty. So um, just filling that in and going to let that cure. And then I'm just doing the same exact thing on the other hand as well. Just drawing an eye and filling it in and letting it cure. And I have to say, I had so much fun making this set of nails too. It, it was a lot of fun. And also, this set is ready to ship. It is in size medium and the length is long square. And also, this, if you know, if you don't fit a size large, obviously, I can always, always recreate any sets that I do in whatever size you need. This set also can be done in different color chromes. I have many, many different color chromes, so it, it can be done if you don't like purple and you want it done in a different chrome. I can always do that. Um, so now I'm going in with, I got this cat eye polish. It was a collection from Beatles. This one is a green. It's D478 is the one that I'm using. And I'll link that below. Their Beetle, the Beatles the cat eye polish is really good and it's affordable. The fact that, you know, it's, it's cheap, it's affordable and it works really good. I love Beatles gel polish. Anyway, um, that's what I started off getting when I started my very first start at my business because it's very affordable and I still use them. I still love their products and their cat eye polishes are amazing. Um, so after I put the cat eye on and I did the magnet thing to how I wanted it and let it cured, I went in with Tino, one of his stained glasses, which is just a jelly it's like a neon green. It's number two. And I uh, wanted to put that on top of the green cat eye to make it pop more. As you can see, it did make it pop a lot more. And then I let that cured. And then I went in with another one of his stained glass gel polishes. And that one's number nine. It's a yellow. And I'm putting that like in the middle of the eye. Uh, just around in the middle and then take like an ombre brush and kind of ombreing it out some I want it to have like a little yellow effect behind the pupil after you draw the pupil in so that's what I was trying to achieve here just drawing in the pupil part of the eye here on both sets of hands. See, look at that. It looks so wild, so pretty. I love it. So now I'm going to go in with this McCart. Um, it's, hold on. It's the 3D Sculptor Gel. I'll link that down below but too because I love to use this stuff for 3D things that I'm doing on nails. 
and what I'm using it today is to create like the eye folds, the eyelids, or the eye lines, whatever you want to call it, that goes around the dragon eye. And I started to use the brush at first, but I noticed it wasn't as thick as I wanted it, as I liked it to be. So I just squeezed it out from the bottle, like I'm doing here, and then just take a brush and go back over it to make it level and more smooth and if you put too much it's fine just go in and take some off of the brush and a little bit of acetone and wipe it off so that's what I'm going to be doing here on both nails creating those eye lines on both of them Once that's cured, I'm going to go in with black polish because the McCart 3D Sculptor Gel is no wipe. It doesn't have a sticky base to it. Chrome can still stick to it, but I don't, I find it doesn't, uh, it's not as opaque, I guess, when you put the chrome on. So I wanted it to be nice and sticky, so I did go back in and color with the black and then let that cure and now I'm taking the chrome and we're just going to chrome in all of where the black is on the for the lines of the eye careful not to get any of the chrome on the middle on the actual eye itself because we don't we don't want any chrome there um, and then after that we're going to top coat the nail and again um, when you're top coating make sure that I'm not getting any top coat on the center of the eye because we're going to play with the bubbles again we're going to put the bubbles on that next and if I get it on the middle of the eye then you're going to have that effect on the middle of the eye so just go in with the top coat like I'm doing here around the whole nail and I think I used a brush to to get like right on the eye edges um, and then I'm going to add the bubbles. Do not let that cure. Just put the top coat on. Do not cure it. And then just put the bubbles on top of the full nail and cure it right away. that beautiful effect all around the eye as well I think it's so pretty I love this set it was so cool so yeah um, then now I'm gonna go back in with more of that 3d sculptor gel and uh, putting I'm putting it in the middle of the eye this time because I wanted the eye to be 3d as well filling that in so that's what I'm gonna do here it's just fill all that in and then let it cure oh also a trick that I do is I will hold the nail stand upside down like that when you're doing any type of 3D that you want to like bubble up but not like pointy but bubble up enough just hang it upside down for a little bit even if you're using top coat for this instead of the 3D gel you can also do it with top coat um, top coat is a little bit more runnier but you can still achieve this with top coat as well just hang the nail stand upside down for a little bit and immediately stick it into the lamp and it'll it works just the same mm -hmm. 
And then on the ring finger, I wanted to add some 3D to that as well. So I took the 3D gel again and I'm only going to apply it to the middle of the scale part. I just wanted to give a little bit of a 3D effect on that nail. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. And again, you will see me kind of hang it upside down. But you'll also see that when you first put it on, you want to make sure you look at the nail set from the side because you'll see that it's the gel at first is like pointy. So I take a brush, just me, my, my personal preference. I take a brush and make sure that it's level and it's not like sticking up like a tip on the top because that's just to me it, that would not look good <laughs> so, so I make sure that it's nice and rounded and then I let that cure and then all I did next was put some gems on and here's the finished set I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one